a very good morning and I hope everyone is healthy and happy. I am here to tell all of you a secret. A secret is kept between two good friends. And the secret is my title of my story today. Raul and Susie are classmates. In fact, they are good friends. They have known each other since they were in the kindergarten. Having said that, they understand each other as they will share good and bad times together. One day, Ram was late to school. Susie was worried because Ram seldom skipped school. Right before the bell was rung, Ram appeared at the door. Susie was happy to see her good friend is finally arrived. However, she noticed that Ramu's face was pale and not cheerful today. She wondered why. When Ramu was seated, Suzy quickly leaned forward and whispered, Why are you late, Ramu? What happened to you? Are you alright? Asked Suzy as she was concerned about Ramu. I'm not feeling well today, Suzy. I think I'm going to catch a flu, said Ramu. Oh boy, you must not come to school. Ramu, you must take a good rest at home, advised Suzy. I know, Suzy. Mother said the same thing too, but I do not want to miss Mr. Bernard's class. You know how much I enjoy his class, right? Answered Ramu, widening his eyes. All right, big boy, but if you need anything, you know, I'm always right here behind you. Suzy assured her good friends. Ramu signaled a thumbs up that ended their conversation. It was Mr. Bernard's class before the recess. Everyone seemed to enjoy a good laugh when Mr. Bernard told them a funny story. Susie was laughing so hard. Ha 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 ha. That she did not notice Ramu as quietly as a mouse. He didn't seem to enjoy the class at all. When the bear ran for recess, everyone rushed off in a beeline to the canteen. Green, green. The recess was over. Susie came into the class with a glass of lemonade. She was shocked to see Ramu sitting quietly at his desk. His face was as pale as sheet. Ramu, are you alright? Asked Susie, still holding her glass of drink. No, I'm not, Susie. I wet my pants, said Ramu sadly. Oh no, Susie exclaimed. What am I supposed to do, Susie? I can't stand up. Everyone will laugh at me said Ramu, almost in tears. But Susie pondered for a while. All of a sudden, an idea struck her mind. By then, all of her classmates already entered the class. Susie looked at Ramu and winked her eyes. Ramu looked confused. Susie walked out of the class. A second later, she walked into the class. She walked straight to Ramu, and when she was near, she tripped. And a glass of drink spilled onto Ramu's pants. Ramu stood up and yelled, Oh, Susie, look at me, you wet my pants, said Ramu. Oh, no, I'm so sorry, Ramu, I accidentally tripped, you were all over, I'm so sorry, said Susie, trying not to smile. It's okay, Susie, you should be more careful, said Ramu, pretending to be angry. The other student looked curiously, some were sympathetic towards Ramu. Some were actually angry with Susie for carelessness. When Miss Rosie, the mathematics teacher, entered the class, everyone was trying to tell by side of her that Ramu getting wet to her. Miss Rosie shot an angry eye and then she asked Ramu to dry himself at the washroom. Ramu, go to the washroom and dry yourself. Evidently, Ramu walked out. When he reached the door, he turned to look at Susie and wink his eyes. Martha, thank you to his saviour. Ladies and gentlemen, to all my dear friends. Friends mean a lot to us now. You can always count on me and I can always count on you. Thank you.